Hello class! Hi everyone and welcome to Hackett School's Instrument Day. Before we start today I want to make sure that you've had a chance to create an account in Quaver. If you're having trouble getting an account going in Quaver, um, please call me or text me or email me during my office hours which are on this web page and um, I'll help you get going on that. I think you'll really enjoy Quaver. It's a lot of fun. But today is Instrument Day and we are studying the Woodwind family. Everybody get your fingers out. What family are we studying? The Woodwind family. Yes, of course, we always use two fingers because the woodwinds, most of them, have a reed that vibrates and a lot of buttons. Today's woodwind instrument is the alto saxophone. When you say this instrument's name, you got to get your three O's out. Alto saxophone. And it's one of the woodwind instruments. You can see right away that there's a lot of buttons on it. And uh, this is the reed that vibrates to make a sound. It's a piece of wood. This uh, reed was grown in France. Put the reed on the mouthpiece and start to blow. Hopefully we get a sound. Okay, it's working good. So if I close the holes, the instrument is going to get longer and the pitch will go lower. saxophone goes fairly high, although not as high as the clarinet did last week. I'll put dough on my little finger. The saxophone is an instrument that I play a lot uh, in bands, and at home I practice with recordings. So I'd like to play for you a song by Jewel Stein and Sammy Kahn and also performed a lot by a famous musician named Frank Sinatra. It's called Time After Time, and I'm going to play along with a recorded track that I have. This recorded track has the piano and the bass and the drums on it. Let me give you just a little taste of what that sounds like. One, two, one, two, three, four. I hear the big string bass. And I hear the piano. And the drums go all the time. And if I play along with it, it's a cool sound. like doing my own arioso.